the goal is to expand a single logarithm into multiple logarithms. We are going to use the power of product or quotient rule for logarithms to expand the logarithm as much as we can until they can no longer be used. To wet the palette, let's go ahead and do a simple example using each of these rules starting with the power rule. Consider log base 5 of z to the 7th power. The power rule up top tells us that if everything within our logarithm is raised to the power r, we can bring the power r out front and leave everything else inside. Down here, everything within our logarithm is raised to the 7th power, so we can bring 7 out front of the logarithm and leave z inside. Now, a quick example using the logarithmic product rule. Consider log base 10 of x times the quantity y plus 1. The logarithmic product rule allows us to rewrite a product of two expressions as the sum of two separate logarithms, each containing one of the two expressions. Within our logarithm down here, we have x times the quantity y plus 1. We have a product of x and y plus 1. Using the logarithmic product rule, we can rewrite this single logarithm as the sum of two logarithms with the same base, base 10. The first logarithm containing x and the second logarithm containing y plus 1. Next, a quick example using the logarithmic quotient rule. Consider natural log of z divided by 100. The logarithmic quotient rule allows us to rewrite a single logarithm that contains the division of two expressions as the difference between the logarithm containing the numerator expression minus the logarithm containing the denominator expression. Down here, the expression in our numerator is z and the expression in our denominator is 100. Using the logarithmic quotient rule, I can rewrite natural log of z divided by 100 as natural log of the numerator expression, z, minus natural log of the denominator expression, 100. Now that we've warmed up using one rule at a time, we are going to work through some problems that expand a single logarithm using two of the rules at a time. Consider our first problem, log base 2 of x times z to the fifth power. We scan the inside of our logarithm, and I see the product of two variables, so we may be using the product rule. One of the expressions in our product has the power of 5, so I think we may need the power rule as well. 